today in this little mini Excel tutorial, we're going to enter some data and create a graph with it, and then later create a pictograph. We're going to start by clicking in the B1 cell, and we're going to type in party food chart. And then in cell A3, we're going to list our party foods. Burgers, hot dogs, soda, and ice cream. And then for our values, we're going to have six burgers, eight hot dogs, 12 sodas, and 10 ice creams. How we're going to make our graph with this data is we're going to highlight our data that we just entered. We're going to go to the Insert tab, and we're going to click on Column, and we're going to choose the 2D column. It's automatically going to make us a little graph with our six burgers, eight hot dogs, 12 sodas, and 10 ice creams. If you want the graph to go horizontally instead of vertically, click on the Insert tab, and click on the bar graph, and you can click on the 2D bar, and it'll instantly change them. How to make a pictograph out of these, we're going to first need to select just the ice cream bar. Now when you click on it once, I don't know if you can see that, but you'll notice that each of the bars has these little brown circles on them. You want to make sure to click on that ice cream again so only that the ice cream bar has these little handlebars around them. As soon as it does, go ahead and click on it, double click on it, click on the fill button, click on where it says picture or texture fill, and we're going to click on clip art and we're going to look for ice cream. Now if you make sure that the this is checked, it'll also look online and get any extra clip art that Office may have. Now all we need to do is find a good picture of some ice cream. And this one looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Selecting this, make sure that one ice cream matches up to one unit. So we're going to make sure that's checked. That's one. We're going to hit close. And there's our 10 ice creams. We're going to do the same for soda. So make sure soda is selected. Double click on it. Go to fill. Go to picture or texture fill. Click on clip art. We're going to type in soda. Here's the soda that I'm going to use. And we want to make sure to stack and scale with one soda equaling one unit. And then hit close. Do the same for hot dog. So double click on hot dog. Click on fill. Click on picture or texture fill. Click on clip art. Type in hot dog. This one looks good. Again, make sure that stack and scale is selected and hit close. And last but not least, burgers. So double click on burgers, click on the fill button, click on the picture or texture fill, click on clip art, type in burger, and find a good picture of a hamburger. Select Stack and Scale and hit Close. Here is your data and here is your pictograph that describes that. One thing that's nice about Excel is you can go in and change any one of these and it will automatically change. If you only have two burgers, it's going to adjust it in real time. If you only have five sodas, or five ice creams I mean, if you have 20 hot dogs, it's going to automatically resize your graph to fit and show that.
Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.